Last month, you may all recall that we signed a comprehensive piece of energy legislation, but we also announced at the time our intention to ramp up coordinated efforts to meet our requirements under the Global Warming Solutions Act, reducing emissions, safeguarding residents from the impacts of climate change, and building a more resilient commonwealth through a series of targeted and measured steps. Climate change threatens our environment, our residents, our communities, and our economy. This executive order singles our continuing commitment to combating and preparing climate change impact for climate change impacts across state government and in our communities. A key piece of our work to mitigate and adapt to climate change is providing support to cities and towns who are on the front line of meeting many of these challenges. Building on the efforts of Lieutenant Governor Polito and her dedication to community compacts and green communities, the order provides direct support and technical assistance to help communities adapt to climate change. We'll work closely with all of our, our state agencies to, uh, to continue to lead by example and, uh, and, and show the rest of the, the nation and throw, show our citizenry uh, how we truly can uh, offset our, our contribution to uh, climate change through, uh, through the reduction of our, of our emissions. To work collaboratively with our other uh, secretaries, to look across our entire state agency, develop a statewide adaptation plan, and develop a, a vulnerability assessment of all of our state assets from the Berkshires to Cape Cod. And then further to work with our municipalities to do a similar exercise, provide technical assistance, and do a statewide vulnerability assessment to identify the critical infrastructure needs that we need to address as we deal with uh, the ongoing battle of a changing climate. I want to, in particular, commend uh, Governor Baker and Lieutenant Governor Polito. Uh, for looking at and understanding the science and the data that is out there relative to what is taking place regarding climate change. Adaptation is very important. The resiliency pieces of this executive order are very important. But there are other provisions in the EO that will be signed today that speak to reducing uh, greenhouse gas emissions and continuing to head down the road that we have been heading in and making sure these greenhouse gas emissions are reduced. Our environment and our economy will benefit from doing so.